Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with some nail art on my short square nails this time. This Friday I'll be going to see the K-pop group Seventeen in concert and wanted to do some simple nail art for the occasion. This will be my first time seeing them live and I am so excited. I took some inspiration from this image showing their official colors and tried to match them as much as possible. These are the tools I'll be using for this mani. All items will be linked down in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. We are starting off by painting our index, middle, and pinky nail in a light pink cream. And our ring nail will be painted in a holographic base to reflect the new 17 light stick design. I don't show my thumb in this video, but for this design I have painted my thumb in the holographic base as well. Now we're going to be creating a gradient effect using the light pink and a blurple tone at the edge of the nail. I'm combining two different polishes here for the blurple because the one from Zoya was too dark while the one from Essie was too light. Combined though, they hit just the right color that we need for this look. Before we start, be sure to apply a liquid latex around your nail so that we can have some super easy cleanup later. For the gradient, I'm doing a combined dabbing motion and rolling from side to side with each layer. I repeated this quite a few times until it I felt the colors were blended enough. I also made sure to wait up to three minutes between each dabbing attempt so that the colors could saturate better. I've been out of the nail game for a while, but if there is still one thing I know is that all gradients need that special touch that comes from China Glaze's Fairy Dust. Next, we are going back to our index nail and using white acrylic paint and a thin brush, I'm painting white lines to create a broken shard effect. The lines don't have to be perfect because we'll be filling in the spots with polish later. Make sure to also outline around the nail with the white paint. And we'll be repeating the same steps on our pinky nail while we wait for the index nail to dry. Back to our index nail, we are still using the same thin brush, but this time I have dipped it into the holographic polish and I'm starting to paint some of the spaces. We want to alternate between the holographic polish, the blurple cream, and leaving some spots for the pink cream to show through. Don't worry about putting polish outside the lines. All mistakes can be easily fixed by going over it again with the polish or the white acrylic paint. 
After you're done, we'll be repeating the same steps on our pinky nail. Make sure that you've left enough time for everything to dry so that it doesn't smear. And then it's time for top coat. I couldn't decide between a glossy or a matte finish, so I did both. And that's it! Super simple, but I love the end result. I'll admit though, I'm extremely rusty and recording this took me about 3 all night attempts. Hopefully it was worth it and you guys love this as much as I do. Let me know what you think down in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!